My name is Edwin Brooks, and full disclosure here, I'd like to say first of all that I'm not a resident of the city of Keene. I reside in Harrisville, New Hampshire, and I'd like to just give you a perspective on how some folks in the region might perceive the city of Keene and its, uh, the services that it offers to the citizens in the Monadnock region. Uh, I'm a member of the board of directors of the 100 Nights Shelter and Resource Center, and I would just like to second the comments of Mindy Camiar that you just heard. Uh, I, I think it might be noteworthy to, for members of this respectful council to uh, keep in mind that many uh, citizens of surrounding towns in Keene depend upon this city to provide services that our local towns are not able to afford because of our size. But I want to assure you that residents of surrounding towns support so many of the social services organizations that are provided in the city of Keene. And we support that effort not only with our volunteer services, but also with our funds. Uh, my wife and I, who are retired clergy, uh, are active in fundraising for the community kitchen, as well as the 100 Nights Resource Centers. Uh, center and for the, we are supporters of the Madnock United Way. Uh, so I'm just urging that you take into consideration uh, the civic-minded reputation that you have in this area and thank you for the support that you've given to your social service agencies. And I would just urge that you consider an increase in the appropriation that you might be willing to make to the 100 Nights uh, 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 Shelter for Homeless People because you may remember we've had a very cold winter, it was very long, and the, and the demand on our services were much increased uh, during the past year. So again, we thank you for your support in the past, and we respectfully ask that you consider an increase in what you're able to provide us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Yes. 